Well, hello everybody. Did a little picking at a friend of mine's house today. Thought I'd share my little parts haul with you. Uh, some of this stuff I picked out of a dumpster that he had loaded up all the, uh, some of the old junk that he was getting rid of. An old 8BA pan and some rods. Um, little oil, oil pickup there. And uh, just an 8BA cam there. But this is an EA cam here. I'll measure, mic the lobes on that. That might be savable. Um, some starter parts there. Uh, got some flywheels. I got three, three 8BA flywheels. Um, and stock intake manifold. Um, and uh, two 8BA style flywheels. All that stuff I got out of his dumpster he was throwing away. Um, I picked up a nice oil pan here. APA oil pan and starter plate. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, and it's... Uh, looks like it's got like a center sump style pan. Not sure what it's for, but it's in good shape. Um, picked up a... He gave this to me. It's a... Um, flathead side mount for an engine stand. The exhaust bolts will bolt up right here and uh, gives you a way to hook up a flathead to an engine stand. That was cool of him to give me that. Um, picked up a 90, no, 84 to 85 uh, Chevy S10 T5 five-speed transmission from him and uh, he said it was a good transmission so that's good and let's see picked up a APA style little bell housing three inch extender that this side this side uh, bolts to the block and then this side bolts to like a 39 style transmission picked up a mercury flathead uh, this motor he actually was running in his little t-coupe um, but it um, blew out a valve seat so I was able to take the head off and take a look at that and uh, I think a machine shop can fix that area install a new valve seat it's a stock bore uh, motor block. Um, I measured the stroke and it does have a Merc crank in it. It's got the EAC heads on it. Um, it's got a 39 style transmission on it. It's probably a truck I'm thinking. Transmission, maybe. It's got the open drive on it. And uh, the reason why I say a truck because the intake manifold is for an 8RT, which I think is a truck intake manifold. So that may be a truck gearbox. I'm not quite sure on that yet. But uh, yeah, the uh, valve seat uh, kind of dinged up the piston pretty bad on the piston, but uh, the cylinder walls, everything looks good. It's a stock bore and there's really no ridge on the cylinder walls. He said it was running fine, running good, uh, when the valve seat blew out. So, anyway, I think I could get that block repaired. And then, uh, put, put this engine back together. I'm gonna need some parts for it. Um, looks good, though. And, oh. Kind of scored some... Uh, guide 903 headlights pretty good shape he said uh, he thinks he converted them to 12 volt already they're nice uh, they got good patina no no bad dings or dents in them or anything 
They look in nice shape. So that was cool. That's a nice find. I like the guides. I like the ones with the blinkers on top, but these are good. So now, gotta unload everything. <laughs> All right, guys, just a short one to kind of share my parts haul with me, with you guys. Thanks for watching.